Hello students, today we will discuss your chemistry for 4 KSSM textbook, page 66, activity 3.14, questions number 2. So question number 2, hydrocarbons consist of carbons and hydrogens. 5.7 gram of hydrocarbon contains 4.8 grams of carbon. If the relative molecular mass of the hydrocarbon is 114, determine its molecular formula. So molecular formula which means it's like something uh, 2 and C1. Okay, this is what we call as the molecular formula. So to do this question, you must remember your empirical formula. So empirical formula which you have to uh, divide it by the mass and also the mole. So again, before we do this, you must sort hydro carbons consist of carbon and hydrogen so it mentions that the carbon is 4.8 therefore this is 4.8 gram what about your your hydrogen so the total of hydrocarbon is 5.7 gram thus you have to minus 4.8 equals to 0 0.9 gram so your hydrogen is 0 0.9 gram then we have to use your empirical formula okay so carbon your carbon is 4.8 gram you have to times one mole carbon over your mass so one carbon is 12.01 gram so when you divide everything total 0 0.399 next for your hydrogen your hydrogen is 0 0.9 gram times one mole of hydrogen so hydrogen is 1.01 gram so the total is 0 0.891 Okay, then empirical formula, you have to divide it by the smallest amount. So between these two, the, small, the smallest amount is 0 0.399. Thus, hydrogen, your hydrogen is 0 0.891 divided by the smallest amount, which is 2.233 so if you uh, change to the near, nearest number that will be 2 whereby your carbon okay you have no other choice so you use the smallest amount so 0 0.399 divided by 0 0.399 equals to 1 so then your empirical formula will be H two C one. Okay. Then again, we have to use we have to use your molecular formula. Mm -hmm. Okay. So your question: the molecular mass is one one four. Okay. So one one four. So right now, your hydrogen you have two. Your carbon you have one okay so we have to times the mass so hydrogen is 1.01 your carbon is 12.01 so 2 times 101 equals to 2.02 .02. 1 times 12.0 equals to 12.0 so 12 Plus together, 2.02 plus 12.01 equals to 14.03. Okay, then we have to divide it, your molecular mass. Okay, we have to divide it. Okay, we have to divide your relative molecular mass. So you 114 divided by 14.03. So you 114 divided by your 14. 0 0.03 which give us 8.125 so nearest number would be 
8. Then, okay, so we must remember, you must remember your empirical formula. You must remember your molecular mass. So then, your empirical formula is H2C1. So we found that the molecular is 8. Then we have 2 times 8. So then, H2 times 8 is 16. 1 times 8 is 8. Then we have to calculate is this the molecular formula for your relative molecular mass? So then, your 16, your hydrogen, the mass for your hydrogen is 1.01 .01 times 16 plus your 12.01 times 8. So your answer will be 112K24. So you can see that this is 112.24. The relative molecular mass is 114. So you can see that there's a big gap. So which means H16C8, this is not the answer. Then we have to continue to find. So we add H17C8. So the mass for hydrogen is 1.01 .01 times 17, plus the mass for the carbon is 12.01 .01 times 8. So your answer is 113.25. So we check again. So the relative molecular mass is 114. This is 113, okay, 0.25. Even though you change the nearest is 113, still differing. So again, this is not the answer. We have to try again. So next, H18C8. So your hydrogen is 1.01 .01, you have to times 18 plus your carbon is 12.01 .01 times 8 so your answer will be 114 and 26 so if you change the nearest number it will become 114 so this is 114 so the relative molecular is 114 therefore this is your answer so, number two, question number two, your answer is C8H18.